Today I will do the thing that I have been procrastinating and that I that I for some reason kind of stressed about. Hello and welcome back. So probably as you've seen in the title or in the thumbnail, today I will be doing planning, so like the more serious stuff in the game. But before I get into that video, I wanted to um, say something about someone. There's been a really nice comment, and this girl has two channels, so probably you're on my, um, you're watching this video. Oh, sorry, you're watching this video because you're interested in uncrossing content. Well, she has a channel that. Um, she did a little long time ago and she already has some um, videos about her island so check her out um, I am I being extra maybe a little well who doesn't love to be a bit extra <laughs> so um, yeah now let's get into this video what I mean by um, planning is I will break it up into few topics. First topic will be that style of your island. The second topic will be um, the layout. The third topic will be villagers. Yeah, I think it's like the three biggest topics. Um, I would like to start with... I think I will start with the style because I, it's the easiest one to go through. I don't want this video to be boring, so I um, we'll just quickly go over this topic because I think it's like the most boring. Um, I already know I want my island to be spring core. Um, the thing is, um, I noticed that there are kind of like two types of spring core. So some people, when they have a spring core island, they do everything really like supernatural, really beige. Um, honestly, kind of cottage core. And the second type is like everything. Um, yeah, of course, it's still everything is still natural, but it's more colorful. Even like sometimes rainbow elements. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say it. I think I want to have like a spring core island, maybe with hints of kids core, because I really like colorful islands. Um, so this will be the style of my island. Let's just go into the next topic. Next topic would be villagers. Um, I was saying that I want my island not to be really beige, but I, for some reason, I I never like beige colors and like, you know, like neutrals. I love colorful stuff, but for some reason, the neutral um, villagers are so cute. Um, so I feel like I really like the um, like brown, white, beige villagers and I think it would be really cute to have a color, like a kind of colorful island and then like a um, neutral villager, like neutral color villagers Wow, that's so hard to say I have a spring core island and I really want to keep that theme in mind while picking my villagers What I think of sp like spring core, I feel like maybe of some hamsters, of squirrels, of bears, of bunnies, frogs, and um, I already know I have a few dreamies. Mabel. Mabel is, for me, she's just perfect. She is the cutest little beige bear. Mabel is definitely my dreamy. I really want a squirrel on my island and they are, there are some squirrels, some squirrel villagers and really like half of them are so cute and I was thinking about it before this video and I have some contestants so I really really like I like this squirrel I like Marshall and probably um, hmm, this squirrel is so really cute um, and you know what I think because like I need a squirrel on the island the tails just the cutest things just so cute 
I don't know. Do you think it would be cool? So I was thinking maybe the next video after this one will be um, ranking all the um, all the squirrel villagers because like. I love these videos and it's nothing new, like it's nothing new, um, a lot of people do ranking rank villagers or, or NPCs or like species like cats or dogs or squirrels, but I know it's nothing new but I just think it would be cool to do and it would really help for us to pick a squirrel on my island. So I don't know which squirrel I will have yet but I will probably know in the next video. I really love cats and like, I mean in Animal Crossing, I really like their design and like their big ears. I just really like how Nintendo designed the cats in, in Animal Crossing and I honestly like most of the cats are really cute and there are lots of lots of lots of different cats. The species with the biggest amount of um, different builders in them and the one I was um, yeah I did prepare before this before filming this video and um, I think I have seen I have seen the right cat I have seen the dreamy um, she is gray like grayish bluish honestly kind of like really similar to this squishmallow <laughs> So let me actually let me take her. And here is when things get kind of strange. So um, I was thinking about this card. So Lolly, but later in the video, you'll hear me say the name uh, Mitzi. And actually, the card name Mitzi is the card on the right. Um, so I the whole time I was thinking about Lolly. So the card on the left, and I thought that oh, she kind of looks like my squishmallow. Um, so yeah, I, I thought that the cat on the left looked like my squishmallow. Not, now let's focus on the Mitzi, so the cat on the right. And she is so much more similar to my squishmallow that it's kind of scary because she looks exactly the same. Um, she's kind of similar to this squishmallow, so focus on this, on this beauty. And um, now look at this villager. Um, yeah, somebody tell me why does Missy look so similar to the Squishmallow, to my Squishmallow. I still think that Lolly kind of looks like my Squishmallow, but yeah, like compared to Mitzi, you know, Mitzi is so much more similar. I don't want to start any controversy, but I like it looks like Squishmallow stole Mitzi design. Just saying. And while searching for a photo of my Squishmallow felt it, I found this literally the cutest thing it gave me this card right now. I just want to take my Squishmallow and turn them into this card. Adorable. I honestly, she might be a dreamy, this a dreamy potential. And then um, I... I was thinking that maybe a hamster on my island would be cute. I am not sure um, because I haven't really looked into the hamsters. But um, if you want, I can do um, maybe I will if the video about ranking scrolls will come out really good. And if you will like it, then I can do um, a video ranking all the hamster villagers because um, I think it would be really fun to have a hamster on my island. <laughs> and then I I really love when people do like um, not couples but like friends on their islands. What I mean by it is when they have two cats or two hamsters, like their friends and their houses are two like together and they have, um, you know, a one big yard, you know, like they live to get, like close together. And I would love to do that with a cat, I, with some cats, but I don't know if I will find a second uh, villager, um, a second cat villager as good as Mitzi. Um, We'll see about that. Let me, let me put him back. 
um, I probably edited like a picture with all the villagers I was talking about. Here is how it looks. Um, I think they look really cute together and they complement each other. They look cohesive and this was my this is my plan. I want my villagers to look like you know like I want them to match. I don't I yes, I want them to match and I want them to look like cohesive and yeah, I just think it's really cute when it, that happens on islands. Um so now I would probably go to um layout. We are in the game and layout is the thing that I am kind of stressing about. Um I I picked my resident services to be really close to the entrance. First thing that I know that I want to do is I want to do like an entrance and then this will be like a towny area. So um, when I was saying that I want a sprinkler island, I kind of want to do like a sprinkler town, like kind of, honestly kind of like you know, when um, like there are Disney films and for example like these towns with, with like a cute farmer's markets and like flowers and like this would be like a little tiny area. Maybe I will move um, Luke's Cranny in the future but I still don't know and um, do you like where I put the museum because um, everything is kind of temporary for me. But this is what we have right now. I actually have an idea where should my house go. Wait a minute, this is a new butterfly, I've never seen it. Okay, I'm going to catch it. Things just keep keep distracting me. Um, no, I'm lying. Can you about this campsite? But yeah, I, I kind of forgot about it. So I think like I already talked about you know about my dreamies. Um, there is a chance that this dreamy will be in here. Like yeah, let's see who is in here. This is so exciting. I haven't had a campsite for so long. Oh, you know what? She is really cute. I, this is a cute villager. Look at her. Honestly, look at her eyelashes. She. I, you know what? I actually like. Oh, sorry, but I like her more than I think I did. She is really cute. She does not fit our theme. Um, yeah, I'm really. I am so sorry, you're really pretty, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Why do I kind of regret that decision? She was cute, like, yeah, she wasn't my theme, but she didn't need to stay, like, till I um, finished my island. She could have stayed, you know, for a month, too. She was so cute. I regret not uh, asking her to move in. <laughs> So back to what I was saying, um, this kind of breaks my plants a bit, but you know like this, you see this area, um, yeah, I would love, um, again, this is nothing new, I've seen people do it, but I, 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 I would like to do a pottery class, I really like pottery, I was going on, um, I was on pottery classes multiple times, let me show you my favorite thing that I did, stay right here. My favorite thing that I did ever are these dinosaurs. This is the first dinosaur. I think that they're really cute. It is just it's just adorable. They're so cute. And the second dinosaur that I did would be this one. I am honestly I'm proud of them. They're really cute. 
those are just the cutest and also I'm so stupid I'm covering these so we don't think that I bought them <laughs> but it just looks strange um yeah it's just the date that I did them written on it um, there's like a policy and like um, is there they're like at the workshop or somewhere more than three months yeah you can get them because they found them out and that's the date and actually I picked them up like five months late and they had them um, for some reason yeah they had them maybe because they're so pretty <laughs> I don't know but I really like them they're so cute but back to what i was saying i would love to do like a party class here and i want to be like the teacher you know i want this to be like kind of my yard and here i have this speaking area so i can have my house right here but um i think i would do like terraforming like you know like i would break these cliffs so i can put my house like next to the sea and the next like to this cliff or would be the party class um, so there is footage of me explaining what I will explain to you right now but I for some reason I just couldn't say what I wanted to say I was like um, yeah I think you would understand me so now I will try to under um, to explain it better uh, so we can see this is the rock that um, we just checked out but it's like really far away from the resident services so from where um, like the town would be like all the main things and you know i think it's pretty cool to have um your house close to the center of the island like you know to the resident services so there is a second um rock that is closer to resident services but it is smaller and i went to check it out but it was small and um then i decided to just um stick with the first rock <laughs> But while editing, I have an idea. So I will use this pipe item and I will put one um, pipe in, in my yard and the second one near the resident services. So that way I can um, transport from house to resident services and the other way. I will change this river because it, it's so annoying. It's like in the middle of my island and yeah, I will change it to like smaller rivers like so it's, so like my layout will be interesting but um right now as you can see all my villager houses are like here 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 and i am here on the beach this river parts my island on two like into two parts i would like my villagers to be in the left part probably um about my villagers let's see my lineup <laughs> It's kind of bad. Um, first, I have Annabelle. I will not be keeping her. Next, we have Tommy and Dom, which are my starters. And I want to keep them as long as possible. It's different. I just really like them. And, you know, it's kind of sentimental. <laughs> and next, uh, I have Celibate. I do not like Celibate. I never liked Celibate. I got Celibate in my first Camp City Villager. And I really don't like that, but Nintendo decided that um, whoever is in the first campsite villagers, you need to take them, like... And I have Graf, and let me tell you, Graf is an old man. Um, yeah, in a second, I will talk to him and show you, because he says stuff like, Oh, when I was a kid, I loved catching bugs. Now, um, my knees hurt, so I don't do it as much, or like things like that. He, he is an old man. I have Carrie, which Carrie is sweet. I want to be keeping her, but I think she's a cutie. And next we have Jakey. Jakey is really sweet, not my theme, but I love him. And um, now we have Amelia. Yeah, I want to be keeping any of them, but um, I don't really hate any of them. I don't like Silhouette, I don't like Ruff, but other than that, my lineup is not that bad and my able sisters is here the only like thing that i will on my island the only building that i think i will keep in there so like think about it this is like the town and then we go here and i want i want it to be kind of like not obvious like it's i want i want um, able sisters to be like kind of hidden and i want it to be like um you know like not in like the center of the town and i want it to be like and like, oh, only um, the people who live here um, know that the shop is here. And I, I don't want it to be obvious, so I think 
Yeah, um, I won't you somehow, I won't do something. So it's not like it's so visible when you right here, and then you need to go to the top. And um, I may do a stun kind of top right here, so this. I think it's really cute, and I um, like imagine like you go here, and then like a second top starts, and it's like wee wee going, and then you're like stepping stones, and you go here. I think that would be really cute. Um, and we talked about all um, the three points that I wanted to talk about. This video is different and than my usual video. It's it's for sure more a lot more serious, but um, if you um, honestly, if you have any ideas, maybe for a villager that would be really cute or maybe for my layout yeah honestly if you have any ideas tell me because right now like i have some ideas but i didn't do any of them yet so i am open to your guys's ideas and this set would be it for today's video thank you so much for watching it was for some reason I was anxious about doing this and I was kind of like procrastinating on it but I think I think I got some stuff done because um, yeah I kind of know what villagers I want I like totally know my um, island style and I know where to put my house and I know where to put my able sisters we did some stuff so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy my videos in general don't forget to leave a like subscribe to my channel and comment something thank you so much to everyone who does like subscribe and comment um thank you guys i really do appreciate it and it's the best um way that you can show me that you like my work um it really it gives so much motivation even like few um you know few kind words in the comment section um it gives so much motivation and it just makes me want to make more videos so thank you so much for watching have a great day and bye